What's up guys, this is Save Knight and welcome to another Let's Play series brought through by Annex. And today's game that we are working on is Illusion of Gaia for the Super Nintendo 1994.10 Annex Mariko Ohara also Hagio Hagio Yasuhiro Kawasaki say that one is a producer, one's the artist, and one's the, like, sound director or something, or something to do with the music, I don't know who's who, licensed by Nerdtender, ooh, I don't remember if it has a opening thing like, what's your face? world was in an age of exploration. Okay, this is actually part of the uh, Soul Blazer saga. Start looking for new lands. Man uncovered the relics of ancient cultures. And the ships just disappeared. As time passed, many legends began to surface. A legend from each ruin, a legend from each culture. Various relics were found in the ruins. One of the legends told of strange statues in the shapes of spirits. <clears throat> what was a spirit to ancient people? The ruins don't tell us. People who entered the ruins searching for wealth went in and were never seen again. Whoops. Oh, that's a dead corpse. Some said there were traps to protect the treasure. Others said it was a curse. Disaster. Alrighty, like I was saying, this is actually like part of the Soul Blazer saga. It doesn't actually like follow like a linear path from it, but like it's been I don't fucking know exactly how that fits into it. I'm sure there's like a grand scheme of things, I just don't know what it is, but it's been described as, you know, being in the same saga as like the game Soul Blazer. Okay, what am I doing? Start journey, diary, I guess diary one. Somewhere I will meet my father. That's all for today's lesson. Before you do your best not to fall behind. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. Seth, I'll see you guys at the usual place. Eric, I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. <coughs> Don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. Okay. 
place, like always, the cave at the seashore. Oh, Will, please recite with me. The world shines on brightly through eternity. Alrighty. Okay, let's pause. Go select. Whew. Excuse me. Got HP, DP. Strength defense. And shoot the whoop. Cause yeah, you know, what's the like what's your first instinct of walking into a fucking like portal that literally, you know, opens up right in front of you? Just walk the fuck on through it. And here we have dark space. And some lady with a big face. I am Gaia, the source of all life. I will help you on your journey. Only one with a dark power can see this space. You are the chosen one. In the dark space, you can record a travel journal. Stop there before you depart. Of course, what's happened so far? Sure. Continue? Yes. Then go. Yeah, so no fucking explanation or anything. You know, she literally opens up a portal right in front of you. You go inside. She's like, yeah, only special people can see me. You want to save? Okay, bye. What? Uh, I was like, oh, okay. And I can see you because why? Is that like, well, you're special? Yeah, but that doesn't really answer my question. Like, why is a realm gone? I mean, why can I see you? Hey, Will. How many times have I told you not to come up here? You have a habit of jumping down from places. Well, I guess I can't really stop you. Damn fucking right you can't stop me. And, doink! You found a red jewel. A red jewel. You look like a fast runner. To run, push the control pad twice. And tralala. Salesman, I travel around to people's houses selling weapons. I used to fight demons. You may live in troubled times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. Okay. I'm worried. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Welcome home, Will. Dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. But they told me I can't because of the demons. Bill? Coming home at this hour probably means probably means you have to stay after school again. Haha. <laughs> Excellent. Even if a boy can't study, he should show a little initiative. smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. Okay. How long have we been playing this? It's strange. This game's like red light, green light. Okay, and the, the bird just flew sideways. My astronomer friend says something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. I envy you when I see the sea breeze blowing your hair like that. Not like mine under this scarf. What I mean, you can just fucking, I, I don't know, like, take the goddamn scarf off? Question mark? My friend Eric lives here. This is the biggest house in South Cape. We'll envy people born to rich families. It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Well, heard any good stories? Father, everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. <laughs> eh. Eric's mother. Don't worry, I'm not on fire, just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. This is 
Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Your father has been lost in the Tower of Babel for a year now. Seems like only yesterday. Wait, what the hell? You got two people living in this house and there's like no fucking bed? What the hell's wrong with you, person? Yoink! Excuse me. No sooner was the door to Seth's house open than a jar came flying out. Whoopsie daisies. Seth's father. What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard earned money? After fucking literally nothing. It's no joke, that man. I put up with it for Seth's sake, but if it weren't for him, I'd have left long ago. As you scratch that, you know damn fucking right it's your money but at the same time like if I have a lot of like when I do get a lot of money if I want to spend a lot of money on doing something I'll make sure my shit's taken care of first like bills and whatnot like immediate shit that I need to do within like you know the week or two you know like my bills paid or at least caught up and why are these birds flying sideways what the hell ooh your hair and your clothes is a blowing Gosh, I can't pull it up. I'm sorry. And yeah. Seaside Cave. It was natural for the four friends to call the Seaside Cave their second home. Usually when lessons were done at school. They gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Aha, I'm gonna win again for sure. What is it, Will? It's late. Play cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Now, big news. The Princess of Edward Castle has run away. They she came to South Cape. That's all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big happened. The princess probably that spoiled girl, Kara. Like... The one you like so much. Liar. Maybe the soldier will come here looking for her. The soldier from Edward Castle looks so cool. I want a steel helmet too. Oh, you dick. Okay. I'm interested in girls. I like adventures better. I thought everyone would be surprised. I guess not. I'm saying, what should we do today? Honestly, Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He was just stashed in the corner of the cave. <coughs> Will, show me again. And just whatever, and press either L or R, and la. Oh, it moved! Next, pick a card, any card. Put down four cards face down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds, and I don't think it really matters. But why can't you move the statue? Why can't you move the statue? And you can't move anything else. And I don't think it really matters which one is automatically going to be the uh, Ace of Diamonds. Right. I'm speechless. So, this is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know any better, I think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. Seth says it's too complicated for me to understand. God, this guy's fucking stupid. God, what fucking said something? I didn't see what it said. One more game with Seth, then I'm going home. Oh, okay. It's already dark by the time Will left the cave. 
Where is that fucker at? I need him to be in not that spot when fishering. I need him to be in a not there. I'm trying to remember what the flunk triggers it. I know he can move, but I'm trying to remember what I did to trigger him moving. Uh, wait, what? If I move to another place, I can't pull it up. God damn it. Right there, actually, like here in this general area somewhere. I don't remember what the fuck I did, damn it. I thought he just randomly moves around. But fuck it, I'll come back to it when he moves. See you in a bit. Jesus fucking Christ, he would not move to this spot. He lived in the strange teapot. You want a red jewel? Go to my inventory, you see I have three of them. And I completely missed this one little room that's some freaking where. From here, just jump down to that, to this guy. I am the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. What is your business? I just wanted to see you. Is that right? How do you do? Once you hold up the red jewels, you'll have to come running to my place. I am a famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. Give him the red jewels. You could have just more than three. According to the list, you get an herb. You receive the herb. Look at the inventory. And he'll give you items in accordance to how many you give him in total. Like, it's not like you give three to get an herb, then another five for defense force. It's three in total for herb, five in total for defense, eight for life, twelve strength, so on and so forth. Will's house. Uh, pig's wrecking the room. Why is there a pig in my house? Oink, oink. Hamlet, you should... You should snort at strangers. Is this your house? Yeah, so... Frankly... You look a little shabby. Well, excuse me. Your father? Mother? Not here, huh? Is that a picture of your parents? My father's an explorer. He... I know. Allman the Explorer. They said he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No? I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. Anyway, is there a piano here? What? No, there isn't. Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. <laughs> oh, 
Welcome home, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of time. Dinner's not ready yet. Oh my, I've been sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. Ah, uh -huh. oh, you bringing up a thing like that. Will, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago. No, oh, 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 I guess. A scream from downstairs. Is that girl screaming? Princess, I've been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone. What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. Wait. If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head? I don't know. Will you? It's like, what do I care if you lose your head? Damn. Fucking savage. Princess. You think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. I'm sorry, I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. Will, I feel as though we've met before, as if we're good friends. Okay, so where's this, like, pie you said you had? And it's like, is it ready for the munchies? So that girl likes to play practical jokes, hey? Yeah. Oof. Edward Castle. There's a big... What? Viaduct under the castle? Grandfather designed it. What? Really? So, fuck, I didn't see what it said. There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad. I built a prison where people disappear and I never heard from again. Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. Made a delicious pie. Let's sit up. Wait, let's sit at the table upstairs. Okay, I guess. We sat down to a feast of snail pie with whipped cream. Ew, a snail pie with whipped cream. Eh, I'm good. I only got one piece. Grandpa Bill ate half the pie. Asshole. That night Will dreamed that car and he took a trip around the world. Next one. God fucking damn it, buttons. Have more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Good morning, Will. I was come for you from King Edward. It was written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from Almond's things to Edward Castle. King Edward. Ever? I, I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Oh, Will, I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset, humming this tune makes me feel better. A little humbly strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. You've learned Lola's melody. Yes. Again, so what, what, where's this pie at? Is that pie? Is that pie? No, that's, no, is that pie? No. Is that pie? I don't see pie. Where's fucking pie? You goddamn lying bitch. There is no pie. There is zero pieage. A crystal ring? Never heard of it. There's nothing like that in the luggage your father Almon left behind. Maybe we can go to the Castle Edward. You see the princess. Be careful. Okay. Things like a lot of the same shit. Yeah, I think it's like they're they're back here again, and yeah, just dicking around. The fly, the sideways flying birds. Okay, it looks like I am done. Fuck. Somebody's at a castle? Well, just be careful. 
If you try to come up here before, then he'll block you. Say, ah, can't leave. And all right, I am going to go ahead and call it here. Come back, I'll make my way to Edward's castle to find out about this crystal ring or some shit or another, and possibly see Kara, maybe? So until then, this is Save Night on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Later, guys.